Hey there Wastelanders, welcome back to another random show, Fallout 4 Mods. Diving straight into it, here is a mod that will erect the penises of Marvel fans everywhere. This is War Machine by Newermine43 and Captain Ultima. Head over to the Ultima Toys factory and you'll find the holy grail of power armors locked up in a cage, just begging to be released. Much like the stripper who stole my wallet last week and wouldn't give it back. I knew it was you, Candy! I... I need water. And I need my wallet. <laughs> so, now you're tasked with a choice. Do you cheat like the nipple monkey you are and use a console command? <laughs> or do you go in search of the key? If your answer is the latter, you can easily find it stashed away in one of the metal cabins nearby. So the armor itself is a great piece of kit and very high in quality, apart from having some weight issues. Yes, it is a little on the chunky side, but keep in mind it is a fairly new mod, and I imagine more work is still to be done. That also goes for the awesome looking shoulder mounted machine gun. Although it panders to the overall aesthetics, it is a real shame that it doesn't work. Yet. The power armor comes in four variant colors ranging from the base version, the Mark 1 fully chromed model, the Iron Patriot, and of course the hot rod red and yellow Iron Man version. All in all, a great start to what could eventually be the best Iron Man mod in Fallout 4. Next up is the Kite vault Tech Slave Suit by the Kite and Nero. Now a good piece of clothing in my opinion would be designed to keep you warm, protected and safe. This mod does none of those. What it does do is exposes your dignities, boobs. If you got shot in the ass, you're gonna know about it. And puts a whole new spin on the saying, waking up at the crack of dawn, assuming your name's Dawn. The armor itself, which is crafted over at the chem station, has a wide variety of customization options available, as the outfit comes in three armor parts, the outfit, gloves, and a volte collar. We're talking over 30 color combinations and added extras, such as underwear, if that's what you want to call them, with flappy skirty things that cover, well, nothing, kind of like sneeze guides at a salad bar. You can see what's on display without worrying about other people's sneezes getting in there. Not that that's a usual worry, but you know, something to be aware of. The extras can be added, customized, or even disabled using the armor workbench. And there's even a fun light that adds a blinking effect to the vault Tech logo. As skimpy Vault suits go, this is a welcome addition. And if there's any astronauts using this mod on your Fallout game, remember to turn on your gravity, otherwise your room's gonna turn into a salty snore glob. Now, if you're a regular visitor to my channel, you'll know I tend to cover mostly non-immersive stuff. Well, at the risk of breaking the trend, here's a mod you should definitely download and keep. This is Swinging Animated Meat Bags by Steve Forty. So in the Commonwealth, especially in built-up areas such as cities, you'll find lots of super mutant chill-out spots. And you'll usually spot the telltale meat bags before you actually see any mutants. You know the ones I'm talking about. Those static bags of guts and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong here, I know there are a handful of gunge bags that do slightly move, but most of the time, they're completely still. And that's just totally unimmersive. Considering the fact that Fallout has a weather system to allow that extra immersion factor, shit like this can be immersion breaking. So install this mod and you can now have all the swinging meat by pleasure your heart desires. There are completely new sound effects and extra flies added for the gore factor. Overall, an awesome little mod that will allow you to say, Hey everyone, look at my swinging meat bag! Without being arrested for indecent exposure. <laughs> Speaking of which, this next mod is perfect for anyone who enjoys being an outright pervert in Fallout 4. So that's pretty much everyone then. <laughs> this is Disrobing Weapons, Get New Damn It, by Derpsdale. A mod that gives you the greatest power ever. The power of embarrassment. Which, if you think about it, is a great way to drive enemies away. Seriously, think about it. There's a raider sneaking about the place trying to flank you, and then all of a sudden, BAM! No clothes! Generally in real life, you'd be like, ah, fuck, run away! But this is Fallout and they give zero shits about such things. Oh, I'm naked. I'll just crack on with some work over here. La, 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 la. So this new mod adds three new weapons, all with zero damage, as they are designed for getting your selected NPC into their birthday suits. There's a gun that comes with a unique standalone projectile, a melee snooker cue, and a grenade. All come with their own unique explosions, showing clothes literally flying off the NPC. And you can obtain these in the chem station. Now that you've got the entire town naked, all that's left to say is... Time for a sexy party! <laughs> and we're done. Cheers for watching guys and gals. Bit of a weird episode this week, what with the random jokes and stuff. 
I thought I'd try an episode just as me rather than the straightforward descriptions of mods like I usually do. Do let me know what you think though. I did have loads of fun making this particular episode, so you know, if you like it, I'll do some more. As always, leave a like and sub for more randomness from me, and I shall catch you in the next one.